Bye guys, Gang Z. That's the first strike what you will learn is jab. Jab is executed with your lead hand. So when you are on your orthodox, it's your left. But if you are uh, left-handed, you are in sword pose, it's your right. Okay? But I am right-handed, so I'm in orthodox stance. So how to execute uh, that jab properly? First, make sure you stand in proper fighting stance. Square. Okay, I will be a little bit sideways. Okay, like this. Your elbows, you learned that in previous video. Fighting stance, pointing down, shoulders up, uh, sh shoulder wide, and length is a length of your shin. That's it, normal step or normal step. Boom. So, jab with your lead fist. So, Go, I will shift slightly my body weight. I'm 50 50. My body distribution, body weight distribution is 50 50. Now I will shift my body weight slightly to my lead foot. Slightly, I will turn my body, not my knee, my body, and like I shoot with my shoulder, but I will extend, I will throw my fist forward and spin like this boom okay my spin uh, my fist many people you can be like this you can horizontal and you can over or spin like palm out that's absolutely fine i think this okay it's i'm targeting chin on the nose or eye eyebrow cut it nicely when you're executing the job, it's very important. My right hand, if or if you are sword pole, your right hand is here, is in guard, is protecting you. Okay, is there, not somewhere else. And after that, I pull, I go back to my 50 50 weight distribution, and I pull with my shoulder my fist back. One, okay, okay, one. See, my shoulder push forward it's pushed I, I i push my shoulder forward front of my chin and back not not something like this this is wrong no forward now if i will take my arm down you can see my chin is partially covered by my shoulder it's not here like this okay it's here like this okay very important in boxing this is okay a little bit pivot on your lead foot but in boxing you don't need to be worried uh, about low kicks but in kickboxing go further down if i do a little bit more if i spin i should expose my hamstrings which are weak muscles uh, compared to hamstring and he can take this like an advantage and execute his low kick. Boom. Okay. But when I just body shift, still I can deliver quite a strong punch. Actually, my move is very similar when you see in the movies when they are gonna, gonna to force to open uh, doors by force leg. <coughs> so it's very similar, just I will extend my hand and now I will make impact with front part of my fist. So like this. It's very important, not knee inside. I just boom and back. I drive myself from, I push myself from my rear leg, from my rear foot. Same like a sprinter is when push himself forward. I do similar thing. Okay, and back. Okay, and back. When I'm here, I just hop and back. Hop and back. You can practice this with partner if you have. So just very slowly. And remember, you can see distance. Okay, you will get to your eye. You, can, you will be able to feel distance. Yeah, this is my distance when I can deliver 
my job. Okay. Uh, common mistakes are, as I mentioned before, pivoting, don't need to. My body weight or my body mass is behind my strike anyway and back, so I don't need to pivot. When I'm pivoting, actually, all that move is going that way to my right side. No, I'm forward and back. Okay. Common mistake, pivot, don't pivot. Just shoot forward. Second common mistake, you push too much. You're losing contact with your real foot, with your, ground, with your floor, with ground. And you can lose your uh, balance. So go further down. Let's say opponent went further. You can see that very often and still I, can, I want to reach. So I can lose my balance or I'm not able to choose distance, um, sorry, not distance, but direction if I have to. But if I do that correctly and I attack me, I still can move later, later on, you will learn that to change direction. But when I overextend and I'm too greedy, I want to really get him, so I'm losing balance. Only direction where I can go is forward. No, I don't want that. I want to be more free with my uh, choosing my direction. So one, two, one, two. Another common mistake is, I will show this way, people execute punch and after that they go like this way, they drop their hand. Boom. That's very dangerous because if they do that and that momentum, they are not covered. Okay, so when he punch me and he's going this way, like he drop and going back, yeah, he's like this, like you drop, yeah. In that moment to me, oh, I can hit him. But when he's going now properly, okay, go back, uh, like, yeah, he's still there. All the way, that hand protecting him or making me more difficult to counter attack or, or attack him. So. Very important. Second mistake, not pushing your shoulders off. Okay? My chin is still exposed. No, here. Okay. Uh, what I saw some other mistake is you turning head like away, like like this, some or like something like this. Again, here is free access. No, my head is there. I'm fixing my target. I see my target like a sniper. And just boom okay so boom so when you will learn properly this technique you will see benefits later on when we progress okay so one more time fighting stance proper shoulder wide shoulder up 50 50 proper guard drive from my regular foot to my shoulder extend my arm fist connect target and pull back back to 50 50. Uh, by the way i presume not everyone i, I saw many different way how people um, closing their fist this is wrong no tomb inside you can break it this is wrong as well okay Nicely clinch like this at fist. Okay, you can hit vertically, horizontally, or twist properly like palm out. So that's everything is okay. I like to to overextend a little bit, so I make my distance quite than my range a little bit longer. What can be advantageous? So hope you like this video. Don't forget, when you train, start with warm-up. If you are not familiar with some exercises, study them, make better. So warm-up, then you practice your fighting stance and you can practice learning your job. Okay? And at the end, do some calisthenics, sit-ups or push-ups. That's, you will see in other videos, how to do properly push-ups sit-ups, 
and then any other uh, calisthenic uh, exercises in kickboxing way. See you in next video when I will teach you how to do properly cross. See you.